Okay, so the 13th hole is a par 3. It's playing about 120 yards. Stan's got his 54 degree wedge. Hits it pretty nice, but he left the face open a little bit and pushed it off to the right. He's up there on the slope to the right of the green. For me, it's a, it's a really good yardage. I've got my pitching wedge in hand. Perfect, perfect distance. Going to put a really nice smooth swing on it. Hit it pure. It's going right at the flag. Feeling confident. And it ends up in the bunker. Probably came up two yards short. So I'm about two, 12 feet below the surface of the green. Nice firm bunker. Pop it up there. One of the nicer bunker shots I've hit. Left it to about a foot and Stan gave me that for par. So he ended up, balls above his feet. Pops it up nicely. Ball's got to go about 20 yards from where he was lying. Really a nice shot. Left it to, I don't know, five or six feet. And here he is for his par. It's a pretty straight putt. He makes a good roll, but it just kind of fades. Okay, 14th hole is a downhill 297 yard par four. Stan's going to hit three wood, and as you can see with the arrow, that's the target line that he wanted, wants to take. If he hit, had hit that line, the ball will roll down toward the green. This is actually drivable, but he put it down left uh, on grass in the middle of all that bunker area on the left. Not bad, but not where he was aiming. So I showed you where you're supposed to hit the ball. Where I hit it, I, I, I was going for that line, but I ended up pushing it. Put a good swing on it, actually hit it fairly good, but it's heading right over for that light brown, kind of rough, bunkery area. Apparently, it ended up really good. Caddy uh, liked the shot, and it rolls down the hill uh, 15. Right, here we have Stan. We've had to go to the uh, phone camera. 40 yards. It's pretty good. Right at the hole. So from the tee, Corey Rout rolled down this slope. You can see it behind us. Across the green. It's got this for Eagle. About 12, 14 feet. Turn, turn! Oh, good pace. Good birdie. All right, 15th hole, par 5, 522 into the wind. Got a split fairway. We're going for that left half, right where Corey hit it. Nice ball. All right, Stan's going with driver. We've just got a bit of a torrent coming in. Nicely struck. Beautiful ball. All right. All right, Corey's got uh, 280 to the flag, into the wind, hybrid layup here. Good shot. Right where you want it, I think. All right, mark this down. Stan's got 260 in, and he's making the smart play and hitting seven iron. Smart if I hit it right. Oh, God. Got away with that one. It's okay. A little bit wide right. A lot right, wide right. It's in the fairway. All right, Corey's got 105 in. It's a little hurt. Gap wedge. Pulled it left. Should be on the green. Well, maybe not. All right, Corey missed the green a little bit left. Went down this slope. It's got about 15 yards of collar up the hill over the sprinkler head. Not bad. All right, Stan's got about a 20, 25 footer downhill. It's going to break right to left. Oh, nice putt. Good par. All right, Corey's got about nine feet coming back down. Save the par. Good 
roll. Wow. There's your par. Nice putt. Thanks. Yep. Okay. It's 150 yard par three. Stan is hitting pitching wedge. We're gonna play it out right. Corey's trying with what pitching wedge? Nine iron. Nine iron. Oh, great line. Just right of that bunker like we were told. That should be good. If you held the shelf and everything there, it looks like good shot. Right, Stan's got about 45 feet up a little bit of a ridge. Gonna break. Charge. Didn't break Charge. much. Pace wasn't bad, probably five feet. All right, Corey's got a little different line, going up the same ridge, about 25 feet probably. Yeah, I guess so. Good putt. All right, 416 yard par four, fairly straight. The, the fairway goes left to right. Bunkers in the way, wind behind us. Nothing but net. Nothing but net. Cut it. And he cut it. Alright, Corey going driver as well. Trying to be about 100 yards left of me. Yeah, well, we got. 50 yards left to me. Good shot, I think. That's a good one. Dan was on a sprinkler head. Got it a little heavy. All right, Corey's got 184 bunk uh, pins over on the right side, right between those bunkers. Good line. Take the bounce. Ah, uh, came up a little short. All right, Stan's got 53 yards to the flag. He's gonna flip it up there to about two feet. I like it. Yeah, pushed it a little bit. Perfect weight. This fun little putt from about five feet below the green just pushed him to the right. Okay, Stan's got about a 30 footer, gonna be a double breaker. Nope, didn't go. Yeah, of course, got about eight feet safe bar here. Good putt, be safe. 18th hole, 511 yards, kind of winds its way between the bunkers. Up, oh, lost it right. Nice ball. All right, so stands. In a bit of a boggle. He's going to hit a seven iron up there, bump it up for a good wedge. Oh, it was well struck. And it got the perfect position. Nice ball. Nice ball. All right, Corey's going six iron light layup. We still got a long way to go. Wind in our face. What do you have there? About 250 total? 260. Alright, Stan's got 136 to the flag. He's going with an 8 iron. He's going to try and hit about 155, 160 yards. And he clipped it good. Wind's bringing it back. Wow, came up short. Alright, wind's picked up a bit. Stan came up a little short. He's probably got a 15, 20 yard 
bunker shot out of this deep cavernous bunker. Oh, and he hit a brilliant shot. Wow. wow. To a foot. Yeah, Corey's got about 10, 11 feet for birdie here. After that nice wedge. Sorry, it wasn't a wedge. It was eight iron he hit in there. He pulled it. Tap in par. Alright, couple of pars 